no, 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 Please, please, get us down in the ditch. Get us in the ditch. Get us in the ditch. That's what I'm trying to do. Seda, Tasvir, Harika, Boom. Welcome to another episode of your channel. My name is Ebolon here. There are so many war games out there. Actually, FPS shooter games are there for you in many genres and many vibes. But uh, there is something I want to talk about today. You know, if you want a fast-paced game or a slow-paced game or a military realism game or just, you know, one Rambo going inside and kill them all or you want some ability to use, you know, dashing, forwarding, flying, skiing, everything out there. If you want to, you know, pump out a zipline from your bum bum or anything else, you have a wide angle to choose but in this video i want to talk about multiplayer fps games between battlefields a very popular franchise call of duty or some other games like squad or squad 44 you can have my opinion on playing these games so before we dive into this video i really appreciate it if you subscribe what what are you doing bro i really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and actually ring the bell to get notified for my next video okay so let's dive to the video it's the first thing when i was uh, playing battlefield and call of duty in actually old days no i i didn't play it recently battlefield i just play all the school ones and there was something always for me why these dudes doing like this you know i never enjoy the arcade part of the game you know take your gun just spawn in take your guns go hunt someone down that dead come back again in a few seconds and do it another try or other stuff I didn't really enjoy jump out of your jet, you know, kill someone with your RPG and again hopping your jet and, you know, enjoy the other life. And when I was playing Battlefield in actually last Battlefields, old Battlefields, I really just wanted to, you know, check the corners and play a war simulator in the arcade one. And, you know, I was doing my job correct. But, you know, play other players just was doing their job and <laughs> they do the arcade stuff. And you know, there was always a missing part for me in the battlefield. And Call of Duty, Call of Duty is wow, very much explosion and information I've never any actually used to that. that and I just wanted you know to be more tactical and realist so that's actually I met squad in back in 2017 maybe or 16 for first time I play squad and my friend I and uh, I first time I watched the U squad on YouTube Karmok I think friendly Nikolai and other guys I really enjoyed the content of playing this squad and I I was thinking that I should buy it and give it a try, but I didn't got a actually system requirement that day. <laughs> so one of my friends actually bought it on his laptop and I just first played. And you know back in days when I just first time played the squad, I saw that oh come on, all other players are just playing battlefield on a squad. You know they spawn, they run to the objective and they die in the middle of no actually good info calling no calls nothing that was actually it, that was a part for me that said oh shit this is they actually they do the hard work and create a game just as i love and the community just playing it like battlefield yeah that was you know a loss for me and actually i didn't play squad for a couple years and back in i think 2022 i again this time I bought the squad for myself and you know you know what's the amazing part after actually playing the squad for a couple of years the cool part for me that the community learn how to play squad you know just the, you join random servers but you see that oh squad leader you know playing the squad lead role really as good as he must do and 
uh, all other players, Medic is, you know, they all are trying their best to be in the part of the team, you know, a squad is really a player dependent game and if your squad leader is just not good or you're not just creating a squad to just play it, you know, it's just a point of winning or losing in a game. So, and the enjoyment of playing a squad, that experience, it just depends on how players are playing the game. So, the different servers, you may have a different enjoyment or experience. That That's it. But, you know, uh, some points that I really enjoyed playing a squad after in a few years of not playing it, was that players learned how to play a military tactical simulator uh, just as they actually must play in it. I just was again new to the game and you know, players just using the microphone trying to help me. Yeah, bro, come here, use F, you know, to do so something, you know, and use your med kit, you know, all other stuff they actually taught me. So that was, you know, again, a relief for me. So finally, I found a game that is just exactly what I was uh, actually expecting from a military simulation game and, you know, a multiplayer FPS game, as I, I was love to do. So there's there's a point, you know, full, being a fully player dependent game has some, some advantages and disadvantages. You know, the advantages is uh, if the players doing good stuff and all the players try their best, you have a wonderful experience you can never experience in other games. But actually, you know, the disadvantages is the same, you know, if the players are not good enough or they're not at the mood to playing a good, to be a good teammate or other stuff, you know, just, you know, run and die like, like other arcade games. You know, it become arcade very easy <laughs> if the players are not good. But you have a responsibility as a player to do your job as one of the 100 players out there in the server. You know, I think in 2024, one of the best modern military simulation game out there, uh, you know, as, as, as tactical and hardcore, is a squad out there. You know, the other games, I don't feel that vibe, uh, that which I get in from squad, you know, in uh, no other games. But if you actually love the experience, World War II vibe of this um, genre, actually recently they bought a post scriptum and renamed it to a Squad 44, which is just, you know, the squad, but in World War II. You can choose from which you want, actually love to play. So what's, you know, another uh, actually things that life I love from squad is actually imagine squad is in a 50 player to 50 player server with a massive maps which are designed perfectly and you can use your assets, tanks, trucks and all other stuff, helis and all boats and all other stuff to actually take down the objective in actually different maps, you know, advanced secure, random advanced secures and invasion and other maps and mods but you know the slow pace of the game you know literally uh, block by block and actually uh, drag the wounded soldiers you know tr try to help them one and the feeling that every life matters in the game you know that was perfect for me not just you know smashing and uh, dashing to uh, enemy front lines and trying to knife them or actually all other I, I just I'm not that mood of person and if you are like me the squad and the squad 44 is the best choice out there to playing FPS and tactical FPS multiplayer game and then another pace is the using your asset wisely you know the strategy behind the game is to choose to use all of your assets you know every grenade matters every truck and logistic trucks and other things matters to winning the game and you know you know just you know if you mistake if you just first mistake and cross your trucks or tanks one block far from the infantry to support it you will lost the tank as easy as a one you know dude with id jump onto your truck and you you don't have a tank anymore and you feel that these advantages you know in a falling thing you know I've, and recently an squad have its disadvantages but not disadvantages have its bugs and you know problems 
recently you have server issues, you know, you didn't, you couldn't see the server pings, you know, all of them are zero. <laughs> you know, it have, but they're working on it, you know, be giving out updates and other things. And no, when I first played the squad, first experienced the squad, actually, I didn't see any enemy for the first two or three hours of playing the game. And I just, you know, I just died. And I just go <laughs> in a wide open and I died and I just respawned. You know, just I was like that. And, you know, it, it will take time, you know, to actually get used to this game and, you know, enjoy it and take you know, the most out of it. But if i come if i go back again and if i wanted to choose again if i wanted to buy a game like this i will again buy a squad and i uh, suggest you at least and you can yeah there's a something you can do you can download you can buy a squad and actually run the squad and take you know put a timer for two hours and then one hours and 15 in and if you didn't enjoy it, you can exactly you know, just refund it. You know, Steam will refund it. I mean, it's, it's Windows exclusive game. You can try it out. And if you didn't enjoy it, you can refund it. But I think it, it, it takes time to, you know, just getting used to a uh, squad out there. I'm enjoying this playing squad. And actually, as a part of my free time, I really enjoy playing squad and be a good player in my squad and try to help them and be friendly and you know the winning part of every game is community you know community actually lead minecraft to that success and other games i think the community just learned how to play a squad and every day we're going further the community is doing better and better and i think that's a winning part of for squad. Actually, I want I tried to actually give my opinion about the squad in this game. Is it good to buy it in 2024? I think it is. I think it's a complete military simulation game for 2024. Actually, for the end of the video, I really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for my next videos about the games. And if you enjoyed to talk more about the war games and military games, just comment down below i will you know enjoy talking about the games which i play mainly and uh, you know i see you in the next episode